Hello everybody, so the day has finally come and it's time for me to do an action figure collection video. So sit tight and we're going to go ahead and kick this off. So to start things off here, I've kind of got my shelf where I keep a lot of my taller figures. So I've got a, the 24 inch um, Stay Puft bank and the uh, little slimer up there and a 12 inch bank and Link and K2SO and uh, Pacific Rim NECA quarter scale figure. Um, down here, I've got the 30th anniversary Y-Wing that I just got and a bunch of comics that I still need to put away. So up here is my very small vintage Star Wars collection. Hopefully that'll be filling up soon and I'll be able to complete some of those figures. And then I've just got some Ninja Turtle prints that I really like up here. Couple of all real monsters and some of the Disney figures and an aliens reaction and some link and then I'm just gonna jump over here and do this top shelf um, I got a couple spawn figures up here and then I've got all my Marvel selects and uh, uh, icons Wolverine and then I've got the zombie Hulk and zombie Magneto and a medieval spawn and then a Cyclops model that I built. And then over here, I've got some of my Ninja Turtle collection. Uh, just some of my favorite Nickelodeon figures. Uh, Usagi, Bebop, Rocksteady, and Armagon. And then I've got a complete in-box blimp. And that's an empty box for a complete tank that I have. Then coming over here, I've got my Ninja Turtle case that I uh, built. I built those in a few videos back. Um, and I'll just kind of pan through those real quick. I'm going to do a full video and kind of talk about all these figures. And I really need to go through and set up these cases better. But I just wanted to get the figures in there and haven't had a time to change them out yet. So now if I sound out of breath, it's because it's the third time I've shot this video. I keep running into issues. Over here, I've got my sewer playset complete, and then I've got all of these playsets that are complete, and then a complete Technodrome. And down here, I've got the Shredmobile. Behind the Shredmobile, I've got the classic collection turtles from the first movie. Uh, just a couple of kind of more, not necessarily rare, but more uncommon figures. And then the Toilet Taxi, complete in box. I've got all of the uh, NECA figures uh, sealed over here. And then behind there, I've got the black set of black and white figures, the Rebel Tech Ninja Turtles, which are still some of my favorite figures, and then the knockoff NECA figures, which is still a set of my favorites. Over here is probably my favorite shelf, or at least part of one. Um, I've got a Muck Man back there behind, in front of the uh, sewer pizza playset game. Some Loyal Subjects figures, and uh, some of the mini mutant playsets. Um, a hot spot, Michelangelo, and some more loyal subjects. And I've got some of the prototype figures for Ninja Turtles, a hot spot complete, a scratch, um, a couple of the collector's club figures, and a signed uh, by Peter Laird Fugitoid. Then over here I've got the classic collection for part two, and the other classic collection figures are right up there. I've got a box set of those. Um, I got a couple of Usagi figures, the Samurai, and the, another copy of that one. And then the uh, Turtle Mobile, Party Wagon, whatever you want to call it. Then we'll jump down here to my Transformer shelf, and I'm going to see if we can do this here. So, I've got all of the Prime figures that I kind of wanted out on display. I can't put all of my Prime figures out and make it look good. Uh, so I got Starscream, Optimus Prime, uh, Skyquake, and then behind there, I've got Bulkhead and Ultra Magnus. Um, then behind those guys, I've got all of my Prime uh, first edition figures. So I've got uh, Bumblebee, Starscream, RC, and Cliff Jumper over there. And coming over to this shelf, I've got a Roadbuster, which is still an awesome figure. Um, I've got Thundercracker and Nitro Zeus, and then there's a Squeaks back there. 
Then up top, I got Skull Cruncher and uh, Vehicon from Prime that's missing his back section. And a couple of GoBots figures and some crappy Soundwave figure from the animated series. And then these are just some of my favorite movie figures. So I've got one of the Primes, a um, couple of the Human Alliance figures, a Shockwave, a uh, Buzzsaw, and another Human Alliance figure. I can't remember what his name is. Leadfoot? I know it's not. That's not Leadfoot. Anyway. And then I've got B over here and Jazz. And I think he is, that one's Mudflap. And um, Sideswipe. I love those Human Alliance figures. That Jazz is one of my favorite figures. I mean, that thing just looks... Look how cool that thing is. And over here I've got some Beast Wars, Polar Claw. And I've got a Cheetor in there, which... I'm sorry I keep having to get so close, but the glare is just so bad it's hard to see. But I've got a Cheetor, Black Arachnia. Or, um... That's not Black Arachnia. That's uh, Black Arachnia over there. Um... Tarantulas, tarantulas, whatever. Uh, I've got a, another rat trap back there with a cyber shark, a razor claw, um, waspinator. These waspinator and rhinox are both Takara releases. And then I've got a scorpionock. His bead's not in here, but I have it in a parts drawer. Um, Generations rat trap, and then Dinobot. And over here, I've got the black mammoth prime, and then the bison's back there too, I believe. Um, then I've got Optimus Prime, Cheetor, Megatron, Black Arachnia. This is a Takara release. Tigertron with an inbox. Optimus Primal with a carded uh, silver bolt. I don't have a lot of these figures. I gave them all my beast stores away. I used to have a lot bigger collection of beast stores, but I was stupid and got rid of them. Then over here is my G1 shelf. Um, you can kind of see all the figures in there. Sharkicon, Insecticons. A uh, couple Dinobots, some of the clones, Inferno, Blue Grimlock, a couple of little mini-bots. There's a clear Grimlock back there. There's a Sea Spray up here. Uh, G1 Prime and a G1 Ultra Magnus that I'm going to do a restoration on. That's the KB Toys version. You can tell because it's got the white head. And then behind there I've got a Soundwave. Uh, this is a new G1 Starscream. And Inferno, and Snarl, or uh, Sludge. And then I've got a Skywarp. And if you can see it, let me set this guy down here. Uh, I've got a G1 complete Jetfire back there. Um, the Jetfire was something I never thought I would own. It was just an expensive figure, and I got just a hell of a deal on it, so couldn't pass up on it. So, coming down here to my Star Wars Black Series shelf, um, I've got the Black Series, oh, you can't really see him, but Black Series Vader back there. This is one thing I don't like about this collection. Actually, most of this collection, I don't really like how it's set up, um, but it is what it is. So, I've got, one second here. Alright, we're back. So, I've got some of my Star Wars Black Series figures up here. Um, you can probably read the names. I don't need to tell you the names. You probably know most of them. Uh, but those three are three of my favorites. Then I've got the Black Series Dewback and Ray Speeder. And then the Land Speeders back there. Come on. So you can see what I mean by I don't like this setup because stuff's behind stuff and I don't like it. Um, then I got some of the movie realization, Boba Fett and Stormtrooper. I would have bought more of those, but they look impressive. But for the price point, I just don't think they're that worth it. Then over here, I've just kind of got a Black Series setup. I don't know if these things still turn on or not. I need to take the batteries out of them, really. Vader's not going to light up. Um, I've got my uh, speeder bike back there. I've got a Black Series uh, Boba Fett in that case and an R2-D2 vintage in the case. And then Luke, the mass movie uh, centerpiece figure 
Rancor. Job of the Hut. And I've got Job of the Hut's pieces back here for his um, display base, which I still need to get. I don't have one. But I've got all the accessories for it now, so now i just got to find a display base. Over here, um, this is where I keep all my Black Series figures, and they run deep back there. I'm not sure if I'm going to pull them all out. I might. Um, so I've got Sabine and K2SO and one of the uh, Inferno Squad agents and a Range Trooper and a Jaina Solo and the Imperial, uh, whatever it is. And then, like I said, I'm not going to pull all these out, but you can kind of see. There's some Jaina, Jaina Solos, Captain Phasma, Chewbacca's. Um, nothing too rare or special back there. Um, but yeah. So, while I'm over here, uh, I just got a couple prints on the wall. And I've got just a little small display case of... Some Zelda figures, some Final Fantasy VII figures, some Toxic Crusaders, Deadpool Lego figures. One of my favorite things in this collection is my milk and cheese cards. Because I love milk and cheese. I think I actually had them in my favorite comics video. I think I showed off a bunch of my milk and cheese stuff. So, Anyway, we're going to slide this on here. So over here, and I apologize about the glare again. Uh, I've got a Otachi figure from Pacific Rim. I've got my McFarlane Sleepy Hollow Deluxe Box Set. And then I've got a Walking Dead Rick Grimes signed by um, the original artist on Walking Dead. Um, I can't remember his name right now. I'd have to think about it, and I don't want to. So over here, I've got... You can't really see those. Uh, McFarlane Predator figure back there, a couple of the NECA Predators, and then some of the Sideshow statues. Then I've got my Big Red Predator up here, and my box set of Aliens vs. Predator from McFarlane, and then the comic book, um, what is it, like the 20th anniversary or something, 25th anniversary Predator figure. Uh, if you've never seen this figure, this thing... Is pretty awesome while I'm over here I just got a random assortment of figures over here um, most of these you've seen on my videos but some of the dragon's lair figures um, uh, King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table figure uh, random predator figures um, let me do this here all right so uh, some Ninja Turtle figures back there that are kind of rough cards. Um, I might see about trying to repair them. We'll see how it goes. And then the uh, Mantis or the Gorilla Alien. And then I've got a Predator 2 pack that I really like. A friend got it for me. But I have no place. It doesn't display well because it doesn't stand by itself. So it has to be hung. So I don't really have a good place for it. Um, over here, and I'm not going to go through all these, but these are all my uh carded ninja turtles if you want to see a video of those i have a full video of all of my carded ninja turtle figures and then i've got an x-men pocket comics set um then the alien video game figure and the uh albino xenomorph i love that figure and then up here I've got some more Aliens figures, the Mantis Alien, the Xenomorph, and then two of my favorite Predators, the Bad Blood Predator and the uh, Scar Predator from the AVP movie. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite figures in that line. Then over here, I've got my Jurassic Park line. Um, I'll just show the dinosaurs. Mosasaurus, uh, Vintage Jeep, some of the new figures back there and dinosaurs and stuff, so... Uh, I've got a Black Series boxed ATST over there. And in these long boxes and some of the short boxes and some of my CGC boxes that I've got over there, that's how I store a lot of my carded Ninja Turtle figures. So I uh, keep them in these Zola World cases and then usually put them in those boxes. I just haven't had a chance to go buy boxes to put these guys in. Um, so, yeah, 
um, if you want to see all the Ninja Turtle figures, um, it, I just made the video a few videos ago, so go back and watch it. You'll enjoy it if you like card and Ninja Turtle figures. I think I have about 30 or 34 of them. 40? I don't remember. I'll just quite a bit. So up here on my desk, or in front of my desk in my fireplace, um, got a 12-inch Mandarin Spawn. Uh, never can remember his name, but I want to say it's t one of those Talziak, and I can't remember the other one, the Tortured Souls 12-inch figures, and then a couple of Transformer statues. Um, and I've got a custom Wolverine. That was my very first custom figure I ever made. He's got real claws and new head and all that stuff. So for first custom, I didn't think he turned out too bad for what it was. Then over here, I've got the NECA quarter scale Deadpool, Donatello and Raphael. I am still looking for Michelangelo and Leonardo. Um, just haven't really wanted to spend the money on them. That's, yeah. I don't know why I should. I really want them. I should just save the money, but I end up buying five $20 figures instead of saving my money and buying something I really want because I'm an idiot. And I've got some of my Deadpool collection over here, some of the Marvel Legends, um, Toy Biz figures, uh, Mighty Mugs that I made, and then um, Rocket and Groot statue, um, uh, Colossonaut, or Juggernaut, Juggerlossus, whatever you want to call him. And then a little uh, Ghost Rider statue. And then over here, a Terminator skull, a Mandarin spawn, some random spawn figures. And then a carded, unpunched, uh, pocket superhero Spider-Man figure. If anyone knows, I'll have to look up the dates, but I think that predates the Mego Spider-Man. So that may be the first Spider-Man action figure. If not, it's definitely the first Spider-Man action figure, because I don't care what you say, Migos are dolls. So, yeah. Um, Ghostbusters box set up there. Uh, the uh, Reaction Jaws. I really like that. And I've got a Deadpool statue uh, and some Ren and Stimpy stuff. And then above that, I've just got some prints. I've got a signed J. Scott Campbell, Mary Jane print over there. And then on my desk, um, i got a couple of figures of these things that I need to build. And a couple little uh, micro machine vehicles. I really like those, actually. I kind of want to get a bunch more of them because I think they look cool. Um, some couple things that are going to my little nephew. And a couple of movies that I was watching. Fanboys is still one of my favorite movies. And if you haven't watched this Turtle Power movie and you like Ninja Turtles, that is such a good movie. It's entertaining and it's charming as fuck. So um, if you just want a good watch, it's great. Um, got my very first camera I ever shot pictures with, a Pentax K1000. Um, let's go over here. I've got some drawings. Uh... I got that at C2E2. I can't remember the, the artist's name, but it's a shredder drawing. Uh, a couple prints. One of my friends drew my dog for me. And uh, Larry Hammond drew that Wolverine for me. And then one of my friends made me that Rick Grimes print. And I've got a uh, Silent Issue G.I. Joe. Um, the Silent Snake Eyes issue signed by Larry Hammond. And the only G.I. Joe figure I have in my collection right now, the 25th Anniversary Snake Eyes. Then I got a couple Gremlins figures. Let's see, uh, NECA. What was it? I can't remember the company. Was it NECA? I think NECA did that first, um, that uh, Mohawk figure. And then I've got just a couple random figures. I got the baby from Dinosaurs. And Nidler from Land of the Law, or uh, Pirates of Darkwater. And we've got a couple of uh, Play Arts Kai figures. Um, that Deadpool is a KO. I showed him recently, but. It does look pretty cool, even though it's a KO. The rest of them, the other two are originals. Um, I stopped buying these because they're just, you know, I bought these things, and I think they're, he was 100 bucks, he was 75, and then they were charging, what, 125, 150 for Deadpool. And it's the same amount of figures, same amount of plastic, I think, same amount of parts. So, yeah, I just, I'm done with that wave. And I've just got a couple of Marvel puzzle figures over here. Deadpool, Boglin, and... Uh, a couple Gremlins figures. The Spider Gremlins still one of my favorites. And then this is my Link slash Nintendo shelf. I've got a Skull Kid back there. I've got a Link statue with all the other Marvel figures. Um, one of my favorite figures in my collection, this Figma Link. And then 
this is a KO Nendroid link. So for a KO, that thing looks pretty good. And then a uh, Halloween Venom mask. All right. We're, well, we're halfway done. Um, this is all Marvel Legends, and I'm really not going to go through all these, but I will kind of show you the boxes you can kind of see. I want to get all of the vintage Toy Biz next to the modern figures. i seen someone do that on Reddit, and I thought it looked really cool. Um... But if you watch my unboxing videos, uh, you know what I've got. i got an Iceman back there. Uh, Spider-Man 2-pack, and then I'll just run across these. Because if you like Marvel Legends, you probably know who most of these figures are. Um, there's a Ghost Rider back there. I don't know who's back behind you. No one? Uh, and then I've got some of the DC Bombshell Girls. Over there, kind of hiding behind the Imperial Shuttle Box. And then some more Marvel Legends and some DC Multiverse. Some Batman, 66 Batman. This is just kind of where I keep some of my box figures. I'm just, honestly, I'm running out of room. So as you obviously can tell. All right. So up here, I'll just go across the whole shelf, top shelf first. Um, I've got a Generations Jetfire. Uh, the Imperial Shuttle complete with box. Um, the at ats <laughs> Walker. Um, I'm missing the guns on both sides of this. I think that's all I'm missing for it to be complete. Um, I've got a complete B-Wing. Uh, I'm trying to find a, a vertical shelf for this. Um, now I've got the Black Series ATST. I still don't have a vintage ATST. Hopefully one of these days. This Millennium Falcon is 100% complete. Well... It's got the training remote, but I don't have my satellite that goes up here. So once I get that, I think these clips are broke, so I think I'm going to have to replace this whole section. I'm not sure. And then I've got um, an X-Wing, and I'm missing the two guns on that side. And then I've got a snow speeder, uh, the Ewok Village complete, um... This tank is new to me. I just got it recently, and it is missing all of its missiles, so hopefully I'll find that soon. All right, so this is my uh, auxiliary transformer shelf that I recently just cleaned the fuck out. I took out anything that I just wasn't either kind of new. Well, even actually, I took out a lot of new stuff. I took out a lot of transformers off here just because they were so piled in here with boxes, so... Um, almost all of my just basic carded figures got taken out. A lot of box figures. I might show those to you at the end of the video. We'll see. But these are my alternators. I really like those figures. I got a couple of them loose, so I'll show here in a second. And over here, I've got Fort Max and then some of the Studio Series figures. And I've got uh, Trypticon with Windblade and Starscream and Grimlock. I still think this blackout and prime. I wish those primes colors were a little bit brighter. Um, other than that, those were two of my favorite Transformers of the year. Grimlock's probably third. Um, then down here, I've got a uh, 25th anniversary edition G1 Prime with DVD player. And I want to say this thing still works. And then I've got a... Retgar over there, Grimlock, with all the rest of the Dinobots down here from this year. And then I've got an, um, a Platinum Ultra Magnus. And then I've got a Platinum Grimlock vs. Bruticus box set back there. Alright. Alright, this is my kind of masterpiece display case. Mostly masterpiece, a lot of masterpiece. Some of them's not... Um, but I got a KO Power Glide, uh, Lambor, um, uh, Masterpiece Optimus Prime. Uh, ma that's not the Masterpiece uh, Megatron. Uh, that is actually a Megatron with a DX9 upgrade kit. Then I've got all my Masterpiece cassettes and a Sharkicon, and then some of the mini bots over there. And Bumblebee and Lambor. That's with uh, Dr. Wu's upgrade kit with all the belts and stuff and knives and everything on him. Then I've got Blitzwing and two alternators, Hound and Smokescreen, because I think they fit real well with the Masterpiece 
stuff. Then I've got an MP1, uh, Masterpiece Soundwave, Grimlock, and a Autobot Blaster back there. Then I've got two Star Screams, so um, one of them that I'm wanting to get rid of is not complete. He's missing a couple missiles or something. He's missing a couple of parts. Um, I do want to get rid of him, so if someone is interested, he is uh, an original. If someone has a couple, uh, has a KO figure that may want to trade or something, I'm just looking for another Masterpiece figure that I don't have to trade for that. I don't really care what it is as long as I don't have it. So... All right, so down here is my part of my loose Transformers collection. Um, these are just the ones I have on display. Uh, I can't obviously get all of my toys out on display, so I just kind of got to pick and choose of what's going to be in my display. So um, down here, I've got a, a diecast, one of the diecast sound waves, a um, couple uh, Star Scream, and a couple of my other fa favorite figures like Lug Nuts, one of my favorites. Um, that cup I have carded too, and he's one of my favorites. A uh, couple of Beast Wars figures, a Victorion, and then some other figures that I really like. Um, back there, Megatron and Skids, I believe. And then up here, just kind of a old Marvel Legends display. Uh, so I got a Sentinel up here with uh, Wolverine and another Wolverine and Nightcrawler, and Magneto and Colossus. Looks like he's being hugged by Juggernaut. Um, a couple Iron Man figures, Archangel, Iceman, and uh, there's an Omega Red back there. Um, and up here is my Spawn collection. So I got the uh, box set, Spawn and Cygor, Sam and Twitch, animated Spawn is back there, hiding because he's covered in super glue, a Violator, Spawn, one of my favorite Spawns back there, uh, the loose Spawn on his throne, and then I've got some random figures like uh, Curse of the Spawn and Clutch, or not Clutch, um, Hatchet and Arsenal and Doom Spawn. And up here is one of my favorite shelves, my Final Fantasy display. Most of these are Play Arts Kai. Actually, I think they're all Play Arts Kai. Um, so Tifa, Red 13, and Kate, Cat Sith, or Kate Sith, whatever it was called. Um, another Cloud, Vincent, and then two more Clouds, and Cloud on his Daytona bike. Excuse me. Um, this is one figure I didn't think I would ever own. I love this thing. And I got a Bahamut that one of my friends got me and a Final Fantasy VII strategy guide. And coming up here, got my Batman display with my Mezco Dark Knight Batman. And then some random Batman figures and Batgirl on the Bat bike. That's a cool figure. Um, and then some other more random Batman figures and some Batman statues and Superman and Batmite. And over here, we've got some Ghostbuster figures. More Ghostbuster figures. And then more Ghostbuster figures. I'm still looking for um, a correct backpack for him. So hopefully I run across one of those one day. And then some more Ghostbuster figures and then the ghosts. And... Down here, I've got the McFarlane uh, Oz figures. I love those. And then back there, you can kind of see it. I've got a mask volcano. Volcano? Volcano. I don't know why I said that. And then a McFarlane Samurai spawn. And then some other, like, NECA figures and McFarlane figures. Um, and an Alice McGee figure and a Tortured Souls figure. Um... Chucky, Pacific Rim, Harry Potter. Then I've got some Marvel Select zombie figures. And a Invader Zim signed by Jonan Vasquez. And then my Hellboy collection. So most of those are Mezco figures. And there's a Reaction Hellboy back there. And a carded Mezco Hellboy. And then a Sideshow Hellboy. Then over on this side, I've got my Bucky O'Hare collection. Um... I have all the figures now, but I'm still looking for, um, I've got, uh, only two guns for Dead Eye Duck and a shotgun that I think goes to the baboon. Um, but I'm still looking for all the weapons for those guys. Then down here, I've got my Spawn 3 box set and Medieval Spawn and then just some of the Art of Spawn figures. Um, 
I had to choose out of my spawn collection. One, these things don't set up very well, so that's why I've got this wood here to kind of make them sit instead of leaning forward. Um, most of the figures yellow. You can kind of tell by that one that the box is yellow really bad. So I just, I have most of them in storage, so I just kind of picked out my favorite three and put them out here. Um, down here, I've got one of these uh, monsters in a cake, crate. Kind of remind me of a bog one. Then over here, um, just some random figures, some Exo Squad, some Mask, uh, uh, Mars Attacks, Ghostbusters, King Arthur's and the Knights of Justice, I think is what it was. A couple Ninja Turtle vehicles that uh, uh, I'm going to hopefully restore. And then a second Technodrome that hopefully will... Um, I'm going to paint that one up to look more cartoon accurate since it's already so yellowed. And then a camo Batmobile. Um, I was going to paint that and make it all black just so I'd have a kind of a cool Batmobile in my collection. But then I found out it's kind of rare, so I might end up trading somebody that for something. So I may just hold on to it since it's they don't pop up on eBay, eBay very often. All right. Up here, I've got my Rock'em Sock'em Ninja Turtles, and my 12-inch Leonardo, and then the shooting gallery that I'm going to do a restoration on. And in this first case here of Ninja Turtles, I've got the first Goke and Crane, uh, the NECA Turtle set, and then the Classics Bebop and Rocksteady. And then back here, I've got basically all of my Mega Blocks. So these are all my... Ninja Turtle Mega Blocks, and then I've kind of got some random figures kind of thrown in there, like the Xenomorph and Fry, and some other figures that don't really belong, like that Slash. And there's a Bender and a Casey Jones. Um, yeah, so these are just basically all my Mega Blocks. Then I've got a couple of mostly complete vehicles. Some of them I'm still looking for a couple parts for, like this sewer uh, boat I'm still looking for a few pieces for. And I'm still looking for the roof rack for the buggy up here. That seems to be hard to find. Um, and then I think I'm needing two throwing stars for this. And down here, I've got a complete turtle mo turtle party wagon. I keep wanting to call it turtle mobile. And then I've got, I think I've got two, two or three of these toilet taxis complete. Um, so I may get rid of one. Um, then a couple little mini mates and mega blocks. Then down here, I've got a complete tank. I've got a sewer sub that I'm missing a lot of pieces for. A uh, complete pizza shooter and a complete, um, oh, what was his name? Buzzsaw, needle nose, something like that. Um, it's hard to remember all these when you're shooting the video. Then in this display, I've got some of these Good Smile uh, Ninja Turtle statue figures. So these four. And when you bought all four, you could send out and get this print of the artwork that that was based on. And then I've got my Golden Leonardo with my can of ooze. And then all of the Bandai Turtles. And then a complete mutant module and a complete um, mutant ski. No, that's not the mutant ski. Um, Anyway, this thing, this one's complete. Oh, there goes this one of the snowballs. I don't want to lose that. I'm still looking for the Bebop that goes on this and the saddle strap. Then I've got a new party wagon and a Krang. Um, mine is missing the antenna, so hopefully I'll be able to find one soon with an antenna. And then I've got a complete uh, foot cruiser and the complete mobile technical drone scout. Um, I'm my knucklehead's not complete. I need to restring it. I think it's all it needs, and maybe a seatbelt. Then I've got another little crane over there. He's extra. He's just kind of in here. And then the mutant ski complete is back there. And then the giant bee, um, killer bee, I think was his name. Uh, he's complete. So, that is it. That is part two or whatever this video ended up being. So, um, just a real quick kind of overview of this room. So, 
So just a little bit of bonus footage here. Um, so basically what I do is I fill up crates. And once they're full, I take them up and put them in the attic. Uh, this is all my Ninja Turtle stuff that I'm still going through. So a bunch of the parts and accessories that I'm still sorting out. Um, I don't believe I have figures or this is doubles of stuff for that. Um, so here is what I, well, here's some comics down here. So basically what I do is fill this up. So whenever I have enough transformers, which I probably do, uh, I'll pick up a couple totes and kind of move out. So I keep rotating stuff. So I've got some battle beasts in there, a lot of transformers, a lot of Marvel legends. There's the complete set of, um, diamond select ghostbusters with the terror dog and all of those things. Uh, back there and then a whole crap ton more of transformers it just basically goes all the way to the back of the cabinet and then a bunch of ninja turtles and i think there's two rows of ninja turtle figures there and then some star wars figures and more transformers and a couple empty boxes most of those aren't empty boxes most of them are complete more Star Wars and the full set of Danger Girl figures and a bunch of Transformers there. And there's some other random stuff just kind of in there. But yeah, since I don't have enough room, this is kind of what I do. And um, this is kind of where it goes for me to decide if I'm going to keep it, sell it, put it in storage. I don't sell a lot of my stuff. I mean, I'd have to really, really dislike something to sell it. So like, um, well, the Battle Beast will never be sold the night stalker i would love to have a complete set of gargoyles but um i don't see them ever especially with their wings still attached i think i've got one gargoyle um yeah but anyway um so i just wanted to say thank you guys for sticking around and watching this whole video um i know i've been promising a action figure collection video for a long time and um i know it's taken me a while to get to it so I really do appreciate you guys sticking around. Um, it's taken me a long time to get to 500 subs, and I really appreciate each and every one of you. To some people, that may not seem like a lot, but for me, I don't really put a whole lot of effort into this channel right now. Maybe that'll change in the future. Who knows? But um, anyway, I just wanted to say thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoy. And if you guys have a collection video, please tag it in my um, in the comments. And I will definitely watch it. So that is it for now. I think the uh, next video I'm going to work on is a couple restoration videos. Um, maybe a model kit here and there. I don't have anything um, planned for another haul video anytime soon. Um, just because I haven't been able to find much lately. So I would just really wanted to say again, thank you guys for sticking around, taking the time to watch. See, you got to be in all the videos, don't you? Don't you? Cat's got to be in every single video. Uh, the dog sits in there and just stays quiet and just keeps to himself. But you just have to come in here every time. That's all right. Well, I still love you. Um, but anyway, thank you guys very much for sticking around and watching. You guys are all awesome. And I love you guys. Bye-bye.